This video today is going to be about Google Tag Manager and how to uh, install tracking pixels using Google Tag Manager. So this is the Google Tag Manager screen or one of the screens and this shows you a number of products that integrate right out of the box with Google Tag Manager and it's quite scary, you know, we just think we have a Facebook tracking pixel, that's all we need, maybe a, a Google Analytics pixel, that's it. But there are so many more. Uh, for example, if you want to use AdRoll for retargeting, there's an AdRoll pixel, there's a LinkedIn pixel, uh, a Dometry pixel, a Marin pixel, a double click, a Google AdWords, the list is endless. And pretty much every time you add another product to your website that needs to track something, it requires a pixel to be added. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing that. The first way of doing that is you take the code that that the uh, supplier gives you. So let's take Facebook for ex as an example. You would take the code that Facebook give you. You would install that into your site, into the theme, uh, theme liquid. And then every time you get another tracking pixel, you install that into your theme liquid. Now, very quickly, it can, it can become a real right pain in the ass to um, have all of these different tracking codes in your website. It's difficult to install them. You don't really know what you've done. It's difficult to manage them. It's difficult to debug them. And every time you add a piece of code into your site, uh, it sends information off-site and adds a little bit of extra lag time to the speed of your site. So what Google did is they said, okay, we'll, we'll just put one piece of code into everybody's site. All of the other code will stick on our side on our servers and we'll handle it all. So the benefits of Google Tag Manager are when it's set up and set up properly, it's quick, quick and easy. You can change themes in a matter of minutes and you, you're not hacking massive amounts of code around. Um, and it's all nice and neat and held off site. I also think, and this is a sneaking little suspicion, but I think because um, the code is held off-site on Google server, speed-wise, I don't think they penalize you for that. So if your site does respond slower, and the reason it is slower is because there's stuff going on on Google Tag Manager and, and it's firing all these pixels for you, I think because it's them that's doing it, they don't penalize you for speed. I think if you put all of the code into your own website and your own website performs slower, they would penalize you for speed. So I, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm pretty suspicious that that's the case. So from a website speed score, you're not penalized if you use Google's products because it's their own products. I don't want to penalize you for it. So how do we install that? So back in our... Shopify theme, we need to go into our theme and into our theme liquid and we add one piece of code into that and it sits uh, the first line of the body so after the, the header tag we have the body tag and we need to include Google hyphen tag. Now what I do is I put um, some remarks above and below it and remarks are um, shown by the pling here so you've got the open bracket pling close bracket and the same underneath it so I can easily see what I've added into my website because I think the more you add into it the more complicated it becomes and you forget what you've done so when I add something new into my website I just put remarks above and below it so I can go oh, okay that's what I did and I can rip it out so you include google hyphen tag you then need to create a new snippet called google-tag.liquid and you need to put a chunk of code into there. Now obviously I, I don't have this code to hand for you in a file but if you mail me uh, at info at katiesboutique.co.uk I'll send you this code and you can just go ahead and put it in there. Um, I don't know if you can screen grab it, probably not. but. The important thing here is the Google Tag Manager number, W5H3R2, which is uh, my Google Tag Manager for this account here, GTM W5H3R2. So what you can do is you can reuse this code and just change the GTM number here and here, 
and you can put it into different websites uh, because each each different website will have a different Google Tag Manager code. Job done. So that's how you install it into the Shopify side. Uh, it's that little line of code uh, which is include Google Tag Manager and then the extra bit in here uh, in a snippet you create a new one Google Tag Liquid and this is the code that you need to put in there. Like I said, mail me and I'll send you that code. Uh, so over on the Google Tag Manager side, how, how does that work? What I what I probably should say is I, I missed this out, and this is quite an important fact, is Google Google Tag Manager and the Google Tag Manager method of installing the Facebook tracking pixel will not work for retargeting. And the reason for that is because uh, when you open a product, it, it knows you fired the product page, but it doesn't know what that product is or the price of the product or the variant of that product. So it knows you've opened the product page. It doesn't know you've opened a red jumper in size small for $34.99 because Tag Manager doesn't have a way of passing that information back into Shopify, uh, sorry, into Facebook. And because of that, Facebook cannot retarget via the catalog mechanism um, the individual product because it doesn't know what it is. So it knows you looked at the product, it doesn't know what that product is. So that is a downside of the, the GTM method. Um, I can live around that because you can use things like Retarget App and you can use a, a whole load of other things. Ad Roll is another one you can use. And they all do retargeting for you anyway, so who cares? But if you want to manually build a catalog, manually retarget, Google Tag Manager is not the mechanism to do that. You, you can retarget on... Um, abandoned carts and you can retarget on added to carts and retarget on conversions and all of those good things but you can't do a specific product retarget now, so if somebody visits a red jumper you can't retarget them with an ad for a red jumper so how does it work well if we click on overview and new tags we, ha we have tags and triggers so the tag is, if I can find mine, where am I going? Okay, okay. So we'll pick a Facebook ad to cart. The tag itself says, uh, what do you want to happen? We give, the, give it a name. It's a custom HTML tag. In this case, it's a Facebook tag. And there isn't a predefined one for Facebook, so we have to make it. We have to give it the HTML that we want to happen. Or well, in this case, and this this HTML is provided by Facebook. So uh, the action is to track add to cart. And that, if you if you go onto the kind of Facebook uh, pixel information, it shows you all the events that you can do and the code. So we enclose it into a couple of scripts. Facebook track add to cart. So this is an add to cart tracking event, and we fire it on the cart page. So that's important. So we say the action we want to do, and then we say when we want it, when we want that action to take place, what the trigger is to make that action happen. So if we look at triggers, we'll see we've got a cart page, and we've defined the event name of FB loaded. That's important, and also case is important because if you don't get the case right, it will not fire. Um, and the page URL is contains cart. So when the page URL contains cart, it triggers the event FB loaded. And the tag here add to cart, it fires the script. And that passes information back to Facebook. Simple as that, really. Um, one of the things I like about GTM is you can add all of the Facebook actions. So you've got add to cart, um, initiate checkout, payment info, when they view a product page. Um, and the custom audience pixel, we've got firing on all pages. Again, this is the, the FB loaded code here. Note the case, lowercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. Uh, it's, it's really straightforward. If you want to add things like ad roll, the ad roll smart pixel is a piece of cake to add. So again, if you want to add other pixels, you, you don't need to go back and touch your theme. You just don't you just add it here. Um, and this one is a predefined script for ad roll. So we just click on, we want to add an ad roll pixel. Ad roll give you this information here. This is from your ad roll account. You put that in, you click on OK, job done. Ad roll pixel added. Uh, and the same with 
other pixels, sorry, other tags. So you want to add a Marin tag or um, any of these other tags here, they're all predefined. So you literally just click on it, put in the information that is provided by your um, chosen company, Adometry in this case, uh, click on OK, job done, pixels added. And you don't need to keep going back and touching your thing. I say that the joy of the Shopify side of it is so long as you've got this uh, Google tag dot liquid code in and that single line of code in your theme liquid, which uh, there you go, include Google tag, first line of the body. That's all you ever need to do. Change themes, you just add that line back in and you copy and paste and recreate the, um, the additional snippet and you're done. So that's the Google tag method. If you've got any questions on that, drop me a line, uh, info at katiesboutique.co.uk. Uh, be really happy to answer them for you.